All right, guys, how's it going? So, uh, a lot of you may be familiar with these uh, plug and play uh, joysticks. So, this basically uh, takes four AA batteries, plugs straight into the TV via uh, composite, and there's four built in games. So, it has Space Invaders, Phoenix. Kicks and something else, <laughs> Lunar Lander, something Lunar Rescue. Yeah, so there's four games built in these. Um, I've had this for probably about six months. I actually bought it uh, for a project, and tonight I finally got round to doing the project. So these are uh, quite a nice joystick. The the stick itself is actually micro switched. The buttons aren't micro switched, but they're uh, like a dome, rubber dome, like you would find in a Mega Drive. That's what's underneath these buttons. Um, I took a bit of footage earlier showing the inside of these buttons. So yeah, they're not micro switched, but it's a tried and tested method of using buttons. You know, they do work really well, even though they're sort of spongy. But the stick itself has uh, got four nice micro switches in it for like a proper arcade joystick. So yeah, what it did was I have turned this into a ColecoVision joystick. Uh, pretty similar to my big wooden arcade stick that I did. And I have again put a pass through on this. So I can then plug my ClickerVision controller in and use the keypad to select the games. So these are designed for uh, left and right handed play. So I have wired both sets of buttons up. Uh, I'm right handed myself so I'll be using the stick uh, with my left hand and the buttons with my right hand. Um, but if I ever get a visitor who's left handed um, they can quite easily switch over and this button is just wired together with this button and this button is wired together with this button so the A and B are sort of back to front here you just have to ignore that from now on so you just have a, a left button and a right button so I've just finished this um, it takes me ages doing these. Uh, I have to figure it out. I, I, even though I have notes, I have made notes of where everything goes and stuff. It still takes me bloody ages, and I always seem to make a mistake somewhere. Uh, yeah, it just fries my brain. It's all too much info happening at once. Um, so I, I haven't actually screwed this together yet. I've only just finished the solder work. So yeah, inside is a bit of a rat's nest, but really, I, that's pretty unavoidable. So I have the the wires coming in, just for an example, say up. So I have a, a wire coming in, which is then joined to the micro switch, which is actually at the bottom for up. So it's joined to the micro switch, and then it's joined to this as well. So three wires joining together for that one. The, there's actually two grounds in the ColecoVision pad, or two common, uh, two earth uh, connections. So there's a common which runs around all the micro switches and goes to one button. And then there's a second ground which only goes to the second button. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it takes a bit, of, a bit of figuring out. Some of these actually have like four wires all connecting together so I have just soldered them all together straight you know straight to the wires and then just put heat shrink around it to stop them from shorting out each on each other so I'll get all these nice and tidy and probably use a bit of hot glue to hold everything just sort of out of the way so that I don't wind up sticking a screw through a wire as I'm putting it back together 
So I'll roughly stick it back together here and I'll show you it working. Uh, one thing I have still to do is to take these battery connections out because I won't be using them. Um, as you can see a bit of corrosion around one of them there but I'm going to actually just pull them straight out. And I'm thinking about putting some sort of weight if we can find something small and heavy uh, just to give this thing a bit of, bit of purchase. It does grip grip quite well on a surface. There's uh, five rubber feet on it. But it's really light so it would be nice if it had a bit of weight to it. So I'll figure something out. Something to put inside it. Okay, you'll have to excuse the hideous setup here. So I have this connected to the Kalika Vision here. If I can gather all the wires up. So it comes out of the back there. Around the wires and into player one. So again, uh, you need to select your skill level. With uh, this game, Cosmic Avenger, you can't actually use the player two uh, keypad, but some games don't let you do that, which is the whole point of putting a pass through on. So if we can do this one handed. Okay, press one for one player, excuse the light from the phone, okay so this still isn't screwed together, <laughs> it should be fun trying to show you it working, I just, just got killed. So the right button is shoot and the left button is your bombs. And I'm able to do the joystick. Up, down, left, right, left, right. So yeah, all works fine. Um, just show you the buttons on this side as well. Excuse the dodgy camera work here. I'm struggling to do everything at once here. So again, the left button is the bombs and the right button is your fire. And you can only fire one bullet on one bomb at a time in this. So yeah, works perfectly. And again, with the pass through, I can uh, still use the ColecoVision controller. So yeah, uh, mission accomplished. Um, just turn that off there. Um, I have that jammed into the front of my DVD player here. <laughs> That was the quickest way to get it into the television without having to pull the television out and try and work around the back. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much finished. I just need to uh, sort them wires out, tidy the wires up a bit better inside and screw it back together. Take the uh, battery contacts out. I don't have a battery door for this. The battery door is missing. But that doesn't matter, it's not going to be holding any batteries. Um, if we can figure out something heavy to put inside it as well, just to give it a bit of weight, there's not an awful lot of room in there, so I may just have to make do. It does sort of grip when you have your, your hands on it. You know, it doesn't move, it doesn't slide about the table. So, yeah, perfect. And uh, these things are pretty common. Um, although I was looking at them on eBay and the fetch, well, they're all bad now at about 20 quid. Uh, I think I paid about a fiver for this one. So, yeah, haven't, uh, haven't wasted any money and a uh, nice little project. Alright guys, that's it. 
Hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.